in Islam all these things will, will be valid reason for divorce. But in Christianity, these are not valid reasons for divorce. The only re no, no, you can't say it is because the Bible says otherwise, and you'll agree with me. The only grounds on which you can get divorced in the Bible is adultery. We are talking everything other than adultery, and most of the divorces that take place are not really necessarily from yeah. adultery. You see what I mean? Yeah. Um, the fact that Christianity does not even permit this young woman to to yeah. remarry to someone and lead a married life, yeah. it's very unjust to that woman. Okay. And I, I a think, family. I think. Sorry, you want to say something? I think we can. How do you define adultery? Adultery, like if you're married and you <laughs> sleep with somebody other than your spouse. Marriage is a sexual contract. Would you agree? No, I don't think it's only a sexual. It's not only, but the differentiation between a yeah. friendship and a, a marriage is primarily that of it. See again? The like principle. We can be friends, we can love together, it wouldn't be a marriage. Yeah, we are not talking about the same sex but marriage. So, marriage, what differentiates a friendship from a marriage yeah. is usually the sexual relations. No, 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 no. When you are married to someone, then you are committed. So, when you become, when you become a father or you become a mother, yes? then it is your responsibility, the children are now your, your, the responsibility of both of you. See what I mean? Yeah. So it's not just sex, you can have sex and you can, you can have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they can have sex. What does that mean? They're not married. A marriage uh, with house. A marriage is for life, like, like you said earlier, which I agree with you. No, I agree. Yeah. What I'm trying to make is, is that you, adultery is not just stepping out of your marriage. It's no, no. Just stepping out adultery of your is cheating with your spouse. Adultery is cheating with your spouse. It's, it's broader than that. It's not just sleeping with somebody else. What else is adultery? Because Jesus said you can commit adultery in your mind. Oh, you're talking about metaphorical. I, was, no, I thought she was literal. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> looking at somebody. Last yeah, yeah. Time. So look, there are metaphorical like ways. Yeah. What if your wife says, to you, I'm not sleeping with you ever again. Yeah. I don't want to. But that's, that's adultery. Yeah. Because you've covenanted to give, to share yourself with another human being. Commitment. Day. That's what I said, isn't it? So, yeah. adultery is broader than just when you're committing to marry someone and you fail to, 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 like you said, all those responsibilities. You are committing adultery because you're failing to give to your spouse what you, you vow to God. I promise I will give this man my time, my dreams. I will support him in his hopes. When you fail... It's all commitment. You are, Which is what I said. You are committing adultery. No, no, all so this comes on. Is not just yeah. With another man. yeah, but uh, what is the point of this? The responsibility of a marriage yeah. is what you said. Yeah. When you fail to give your partner that, you are committing adultery and you are in breach of contract. You, a wife or a husband has a right to. No, but I don't. Look, we, we both agree. So, the, so, we the agree. Point so there's, no dis, there's no disagreement there. So what the I was talking making. about is the unfair treatment of a woman, yes, who got married for good reasons. The husband was, let's say, good when she said, I do. And so was the wife. But later on, he changed. Now, what I'm saying is that, do you think it is fair to hold her in the shackles of marriage, even when she's separate, she cannot remarry, from a Christian perspective? Because you say no, right? I say no, because, okay. the, because you are, that woman is, that man is being adulterous. Exactly. He's so the one that's fault. Any partner who is yeah. failing to comply with the responsibilities for the vows you yeah. don't want to take care of your children that's adultery yeah so there are vows. many yeah. you don't want to you know, contribute in your marriage interestingly all yes. this in islam adultery. yeah in islam all these things will will be valid reason for divorce but in christianity these are not valid reasons for divorce the only re no no you can't say it is because the bible says otherwise and you'll agree with me the only grounds on which you can get divorced in the bible is adultery like literal i'm not no 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 i'm not talking about those metaphorical adultery i'm talking about literal adultery is that right but hold on a second if you if you say <laughs> because you can't say that because if jesus defined adultery as looking at a woman lustfully that's adultery he said whoever commits it uh, whoever looks at a woman has already come do you understand what i'm saying so you're saying that if either the husband or the wife looks at somebody as, as somebody else with lust then they should separate? It's no, when you're guilty of committing adultery, be in the sight of God. When, look, your spouse is going to fail you. So you're giving more reasons why they should not divorce, basically? No, 
I'm saying if you I, I know what you're saying. You're saying all if someone looks at somebody lustfully, that is adultery according to you. And look, in Islam that is a sin, but I don't think it'll form the grounds for divorce. It doesn't. And Jesus said even adultery is for the hardness of your heart. Yeah. At all costs, you should fight to save your marriage for the sake of your children, for the sake of yourself and your spouse. Yeah. You should fight to save that marriage. But if you're in a situation where you've tried everything, and they look, you and I know in Western society, people are getting divorced for nothing. Yeah. I just don't like him today. Yeah. Yeah. Left, right, and center. Yeah. We divorced for nine, after 90 days. Let's study. Yeah. You know? mm. But in the sight of God, yeah. he will hold you accountable because a marriage is binding. I know, I know. So, de look, marriage is sacred. Ma yeah, marriage is sacred. But what I'm saying is that at least in Islam, we have a real life solution where if, if the husband was breaking these rules, and let's say all those other things which, <clears throat> which constitute adultery, the husband was breaking all these rules, yes? But the thing is, they still can't get divorced. That is the problem. Do you understand? Well, you saying that that's not <coughs> applicable to Christianity, and I disagree because the way you've defined adultery is incorrect. No, no, I said even using your definition of adultery, where looking at someone lustfully, where looking. So you're saying that if a husband looks at somebody lustfully, let me ask you this straight. If so, he's not committing physical adultery, that means not sleeping with the other, other than his wife, if he just looks at someone lustfully, are you saying that is a valid grounds for divorce? Exactly my point. So that's what I'm saying. In a real, real life situation, if the, if the husband is abusing the wife, let's say using any of those definitions which you gave, let's say he's abusing her by looking at somebody else lustfully or literally committing adultery by sex with somebody other than his wife, yes? Then on, on what grounds she should she get divorced. The only grounds is if he commits literal adultery. That means he has sex with somebody other than his wife. What is the, what is the grounds on which a Christian woman can get divorced and marry somebody else and lead a proper married life? What is the grounds of adult it divorce? Really, it's really difficult to prove what's going on in your mind. So you can be lusting at any woman right now and there's no way I can... Yeah, only God can judge, yeah. And even adultery. Sometimes it's really hard to prove. But, but we are not looking for exceptions to the rule. Why do you make it that you are accountable to other people? Say again? When you should... I agree. We are, we are only accountable to God. No, no, no. Hold, hold on. The question, the question... The question... Be yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be out guilty. If I think Day of judgment, be... God is going to judge us all. No doubt about yeah, that. So but I'm not asking about that. So you can't I'm asking. Be by your religion or your faith. I, I'm asking about the, the real God. life in society, and you know there are valid reasons for divorce there other are. than adultery. You know there are, there are real reasons other than adultery. I'm asking the why does Christianity only limit it to adultery and not other valid reasons for adultery? Sorry, for, for divorce. It does. Ask it him. Do you want to tell her? It's just that we put no. No, the no. way the Bible. Have you got the Bible on you? I do have. Open the Gospel, Matthew. I think it's Matthew 15. Okay, yeah. but why? You know, you know we know the scripture. We, we we know the scripture. No, because she's saying it doesn't say that. That's why I'm saying the Bible does say that. Okay. Yes. So. Except for divorce. I mean. Uh, except for adultery. But, but she, define adultery. But How does the Bible define adultery? Look, look. Other places. Hold on a second. I agree. I've already heard you. I'm saying that are other definitions of adultery, like like looking at a woman lustfully. But your, when I asked you clearly that would that be grounds for divorce, and you said no. Um, Ashim, so I you think, can't play it both no, ways. No. Ashim, I think. Because there's a difference between being being wrong in your marriage, and I'm sure you have failed your wife. No, no. I'm asking what is the grounds for divorce. That's all I'm asking. Simple question. In Islam, we have specific grounds on which you can get divorced. For example, like I told you, the husband has to provide for the wife financially. If he stops doing that, He's the wife divorced. can actually go to the court and get a divorce. So the Bible says that. Does it? The Bible says if you do not provide for your family, you are worse than an infidel. But can she get divorced for that? Yes. Sorry. Where does second. it say that? I really would like to see this because you are the first one to say this. The reason many churches don't allow divorce, yes, is because what the Bible says. But I don't know. I you might be of a liberal mind. Mean, but do you not Hashim. think that, yeah. Hashim, don't you think What's that that's, that's where humanity goes wrong? Yeah. Where we fail to be accountable to God. 
and we look to our brothers and sisters and say, oh, I can't get divorced because you're looking at me, you're looking, no, answer to God alone. If your husband is not treating you right, but you I'm, can't just willy-nilly get divorced. No, no, but you I agree, I agree. There has to be valid reasons for yeah, divorce. This is it, this That's the right. reason I keep asking you in Christianity, you what is a valid reason? Because what you said is not in the Bible, actually, and he can back me up for that. Okay, okay, oh, hold on a second, hold on a second. I think... Um, Sorry, what's Erlin? your name? Early. Early. I think what Erlin said a moment ago Erlin, is, very, is valid Erlin. in the sense of um, a marriage is a binding for life in the sight of God. I agree. Yeah. So when issues arise, it's not just like, like modern society today saying, okay, we're going to separate. No, there's a fight and a struggle. Why? Because the union formed was formed in the sight of God and in, even in the sight of men, it was a, a union that was supposed to be for life. So it's not just something we're going to break up very easily. Um, I believe what we've seen in and what you mentioned is the uh, question is not whether it's easy divorce or hard divorce adultery. on what grounds is it permitted adultery only adultery is the only thing I've seen in the Bible there you go so it's not that, for not providing for the wife like you said that is not in the Bible no 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 not providing for the wife how is that adultery okay why do you define that? the word adultery in the Bible as only what happens in the bedroom. No, no, no. I said yeah. looking lustfully is adultery as well. But it doesn't say, Jesus at no point says, if the husband doesn't provide for the wife, it's adultery. He does. Where? He says you are worse than an infidel. And he tells us not to be equally yoked with an infidel. No, no. When you're worse than the infidel, that means what, you left Christianity? No, he's, no. You he's, can't have it both ways. I'm sorry to say this. There are specific grounds on which you can get divorced. No, it's not. it's not. In fact, I agree with your broad definition. I agree with it. What the Bible says. The Bible, the Bible does say looking lustfully is adultery. Okay, but it does not say not providing for the wife is adultery. That's your definition. No, you. In fact, you agreed. You said that this is worse than an infidel. So. So being worse than a, being worse than an infidel means someone who is not a Christian. But does the Bible prohibit marriage to infidels? Yes, it does. Exactly. Does it? What has that got to do with divorce? You need to be married first. You're saying marriage itself is prohibited. But I'm saying in Christianity, marriage is permitted. And I'm talking about two Christians. It doesn't shackle the woman. It is the Christianity you know that which shackles the woman. In the Bible. Second? You know that there is one case of divorce in the Bible. Are you aware of it? One case of divorce? Yes. When oh. God said divorce that woman because she's a Philistine and she's not teaching her children the Hebrew way. And God... She was a Philistine. So what was the religion? Uh, Hebrew. Hebrew. The Hebrew. No, no. Was so was she a Jew? So God, these, these women, no, she's a Philistine. Yeah, exactly. So she was not a Jew? She was not a Jew. So how, how did that marriage happen in the first place? He, 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 he broke the law. He so was, that marriage in the eyes of God wasn't even valid to start with. Forget about divorce. Bible, the marriage is still, no, the marriage, if, no, if, if a it Jewish... Can't, it can't be, because the Bible says if you, if you lie with a wolf, you are one flesh. That's marriage. So you're telling me... So how can God... Wait, wait, are you, telling, are you telling me that a believer can marry a disbeliever? They're not supposed to, but people do wrong things. No, no, in the eyes of, in the sight of God, is that marriage valid? God says no. Don't there you go. It. So what, why are you even bringing the question of divorce in that case? The marriage itself was null and void from the very beginning. There is no question of divorce at all. The marriage is nullified already. When you marry a disbeliever, like you said, you cannot marry a disbeliever. So in the sight of so, God, so that, that marriage itself is Excuse nullified. Me. I don't think you understand a word that you're talking okay. about. Are you leaving? Take care. Whatever you talk about. I'm going to go. I, no problem. Take care. Thank you for your time.